Hello, my name is Linda Lacey, and I'm Dean of the Graduate School at New Mexico State University. And I've been a reviewer for the National Science Foundation Fellowship Program, the Ford Foundation Diversity Fellowship, and the Housing and Urban Development Urban Scholars Program. We're going to present three different segments on how to finance graduate education. In part one, we're going to encourage you to think about alternative ways to finance your education. We're going to present 15 different strategies. In part two, we're going to inform you about funding opportunities for graduate education at New Mexico State University. In part three, we're going to help you seek external fellowships. How do you plan on financing your graduate education? Just take a few minutes and think about that. Meanwhile, I'm going to talk to you about 15 alternative ways. There are fellowships. There are two types of fellowships. There are those internal to the university. You'll find out that there are private donors that give money to the university, and students can fill out an application, let's say for the history department, where a donor has left money to the history department. There's also external fellowships from the federal government or the state government that will have applications, application deadlines, and that you can apply for usually online. There's also teaching assistantships where a student actually helps in an instructional lab or actually helping a professor grade of papers or actually helps teach some of the courses for the professor. Usually students work anywhere between 10, sometimes 20 hours a week as a teaching assistant. There's research assistantships. This is where you work on a university professor's research project with them, anywhere from 10 to 15 to 20 hours a week and sometimes even during the summer months. Then there's also a university administrative assistantship, where maybe you're helping out in the counseling center on campus. There's also student loans, where you can take out financial aid. There's also tuition waivers. With the tuition waiver, you ask the university to waive the tuition for you. Usually this is done if a student has a teaching or research assistantship. There's also part-time work, where you work part-time either within the institution on an hourly wage, or you find a job in the community. Now I want you to think outside of the box in terms of how to finance your graduate education. And I'm going to share a few more ideas with you. First of all, there's internships, where you can work on campus or off campus. A good example of working off campus is that we have nursing students who do internships with some of the hospitals, and they get a small salary for the work that they perform. You can also approach your employer. Many of the employers, like Walmart, have fellowships and scholarships for their employees. If you're with the military, the military has both grants for the soldiers as well as their dependents, including their wife and their children, to go back to school. You can also think about working on campus as a dorm advisor, where you live in the dormitories with undergraduates and you receive free room and board. Some of you may want to approach your church and different civic organizations that have fellowships and scholarships that may pay four or $500 for your books, for example. You can also approach your, your parents for either loans or actually grants to help you go back to school. I also want to talk about forgiveness programs, where if you decide to be a teacher in a rural area or a social worker in a rural area or even a nurse, forgiveness loans will pay back part of your student loans for each and every year that you're working in a rural at a later point in time, you decide to do research for your dissertation, for PhD students, or for a master's thesis, you can also apply for research grants, which will help you conduct research, let's say, in Belize. So again, these are some ideas that are outside the box, just to get you to think about different strategies and different ways that you can finance your graduate education. What if you are an international student? Well, there are a number of ways that you can finance your graduate education. Once you're admitted into a program, you can ask for tuition fellowships, which would pay for your tuition either for a year or two or three or four years. You can also inquire about research, administrative, and teaching assistantships, either within your department or within different programs on campus. You can also see whether or not there are fellowships from your home country. Many governments, for example in India, will have different fellowships for students who want to come and study in the United States. There are also a number of international organizations, like the United States Agency for International Development, that has fellowships in particular fields of study to send folks from their country to the United States to study. 
There's also a number of different types of search engines that you can use to identify fellowship opportunities. One of the ones that I really enjoy is FastWeb. It's a way of identifying different types of fellowship opportunities from the millions of opportunities that are available on the internet. You can also look into private donors who may want to support a student from a developing country. What form of support will help you graduate faster from a PhD program? Think about that. The answer, a research assistantship. Why? You're working on a topic of interest to your professor. They're more likely to read your chapters if the research is directly related to their interests. You may even end up getting some joint publications which could help you in your job search. In many cases, faculty who have research assistants are writing papers with those students which end up in peer-reviewed journals. This concludes part one. I hope you can think of more than 15 ways to help finance your graduate education. In part two, we're gonna talk about fellowship opportunities and funding opportunities at New Mexico State University. Please join us.